I will. If anyone is new, you're very, very welcome. And we hope you um, benefit from these amazing lessons. I'm trying to um, instill a greater love for the children at school when I'm doing my RE lessons for Mary, especially with it being the month of May. And these lessons are enhancing my knowledge and the videos we've been watching have really enhanced my knowledge greatly of, of Our Lady as the person. And I'm trying to instill this in the kids and it's really working. They're asking me questions and they seem really intrigued about this, the whole, you know, the woman of Our Lady and the fact that she's our mother and, you know, that is, it's pretty amazing. So praise God for that. It's a bit of a dull day today, but nothing is dull in the kingdom of divine will. So let's start with a prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we pray all these prayers, Lord, with your will and in the name of everybody. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Provenient Act. Jesus, with the dawn of each new day, through your dearest mother Mary, I renew my acceptance of this gift. I thank you with all my heart and soul. May I live every moment in your divine will. Jesus, I desire to enter into you, be one with you, and I take what I find in you. Jesus, I find in you my own life and the lives of everyone from Adam to the last one to be created, which you have perfectly redone in your divinity. And I offer them to the Father with you for his glory and a perfect return of love. Amen. My Jesus, in your loving providence, you've allowed us to learn that your kingdom is now coming on earth, that we can enter into this kingdom. And this is what I wish to do with all my heart. I want your divine will to reign in me all day long, as it did in paradise in Adam and Eve, as it did in your home in Nazareth, in Mary with Joseph. I want your divine will to reign in me as it did in Louisa, the firstborn in the divine will in these times. I want you to animate all that I do, to think my thoughts, speak my words, and to do my actions. I want the divine will to have complete freedom in my humanity, so that at every moment of this day and night, your holy will may be done in me, to give you all the love, adoration, praise, thanksgiving, honour and glory and reparation on behalf of the human race and especially on behalf of those who do not yet know they can enter into the kingdom of your divine will. Amen. Ever holy and indivisible Trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Daily prayer to the Heavenly Queen the month of May. The Immaculate Queen, my Heavenly Mother, I come upon your maternal lap as your dear child to abandon myself in your arms and to entreat you with the most ardent sighs in this month consecrated to you. The greatest grace of all, may you dispose me to live in the kingdom of the divine will. Holy Mother, as the Queen of this kingdom, Dispose me, your child, to live in it, so that it may no longer be deserted, but filled with your children. I entrust myself to you, my sovereign queen, that you may guide my steps into the kingdom of the divine will. Held tightly by your maternal hand, guide my whole being to live the unending life of the divine will. May you be a mother to me, and I shall offer to you, my mother, my own will, so that you may make it completely submissive to the divine will 
and I will be sure never to leave its kingdom. So I entreat you to illuminate me and make me understand what the will of God means. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Daily Aspiration of the Month In the morning, at midday, and in the evening, that is three times a day, let us climb upon the lap of our Heavenly Mother and say, My Mother, I love you. Love me too. Increase in my soul the will of God and grant me your blessing also so that I may do all my actions for your maternal gaze. Day 20. Jesus in the womb of his mother. In the Virgin Mary, the fiat forms a new heaven in whom the divine son fills heaven and earth. Here I am again, my heavenly mother. I come to rejoice with you, and bowing at your holy feet, I hail you, full of grace and mother of Jesus. Oh, I will no longer find my mother alone. With you, I find my little prisoner, Jesus. So we will be three, no longer two, my mother, Jesus, and I. I'm so fortunate that in wanting to find my little King Jesus, all I have to do is find our mother. Holy mother, I entreat you by the greatest prerogatives of your divine maternity. You have mercy on me, your weak and little child and say on my behalf, the first word to the little prisoner Jesus so that he may grant me the great grace of living in his divine will. My dear child, today I await you more than ever. My maternal heart is inflamed with love. My child, I desire to pour out on you my ardent love. I wish for you to know that I, the mother of Jesus, possess infinite joys. Seas of happiness inundate me. Although I am the mother of Jesus, I am also his creature and his handmaid. I owe all of this solely to the divine fiat, the fiat that made me full of grace and prepared in me a worthy dwelling for my creator. Therefore, may there be perpetual glory honour and thanksgiving to the supreme fiat. Now listen closely to what your mother wishes to tell you, child of my heart. As soon as the little humanity of Jesus was formed in my womb by the power of the supreme fiat, the son of the eternal word incarnated himself in me. I had my heaven formed by the fiat, all arrayed with the most refulgent stars that glittered with joys, beatitudes and harmonies of divine beauty. The sun of the eternal word, refulgent with inaccessible light, came to take up his dwelling in this heaven of mine and concealed his divinity within his little humanity. Because his humanity was unable to contain his divinity, the center of the sun of the eternal word remained in his humanity, while its light overflowed beyond his humanity and in investing in heaven and earth reached the heart of every creature. With the pulsating light of his divinity, he knocked at the door of every human heart. And with voices of penetrating light, he entreated them. My children, open the doors of your hearts to me. 
grant me a place in your heart. I have descended from heaven to earth to form my life in each one of you. My dear mother is the centre in whom I reside and all you, my children, are called to form the circumference in which I wish to reproduce in each and every one of you my own divine life. And Jesus' divine light knocked at every heart over and over again without ever ceasing, while his little humanity moaned, wept and yearned. Hoping to be invited into each heart, he made his moans, tears and pangs of love and pain flow within this divine light which reached all hearts. At this moment, your mother began a new life. I was aware of everything my son did. I saw him consumed with seas of devouring love. Each one of his heartbeats, breaths and pains were seas of love that he unleashed and that enveloped all creatures whom he acquired by the vehemence of his own love and sorrow. And as his little humanity was conceived, he conceived all the pains he was to endure up to the last day of his life. He enclosed all souls within himself because he, being God, could contain everyone. His immensity enclosed all souls and his all-embracing vision rendered all of them present to him. Therefore, my beloved son Jesus felt the weight and the burden of all the sins of each and every soul. And I, your mother, followed him in everything and felt within my maternal heart the new generation of the pains of my sweet Jesus and the new generation of all souls whom I, their mother, was to generate with my son to grace, to light, and to the new life my dear son came to bring to earth. My child, from the moment I was conceived, I loved you as a mother. I felt you within my heart. I was on fire with love for you. But I did not yet understand the purpose of these feelings. The divine fiat empowered me to carry out these acts of loving you while keeping hidden from me the purpose of these acts. It was only when Jesus incarnated himself in me that God revealed to me the purpose whereby I understood the fruition of my maternity. I was to become not only the mother of Jesus. This maternity of mine was to be forged on the anvil of suffering and love. My child, how much I loved you and still love you. Dear child, pay close attention now to the heights one may attain when the divine will takes up its operating life in the soul. And when the human will welcomes its operation without impeding its step. God's fiat, which by its very nature possesses the generating virtue, generates all blessings in the soul. It renders the soul fruitful and it endows the soul with the office of motherhood through which it governs all things and all blessings, even the one who created it. Motherhood signifies and exercises true love, heroic love. Such love is happy, 
to give its life in exchange for the one it has generated. Without such heroic love, the word motherhood is sterile, empty and reduced to a mere word. And despite its many deeds, it does not truly exist. Therefore, my child, if you wish to generate all blessings, let the fiat take up its operating life in your soul, which will confer upon you the office of motherhood, whereby you may love everyone with a motherly love. And I, your mother, will teach you how to bring this motherhood to fruition within you so that, that it becomes a divine and completely holy motherhood. Holy Mother, I abandon myself in your arms. Oh, how I long to bathe your maternal hands with my tears, to move you to compassion over the state of my poor soul. If you love me as a mother, Enclose me within your heart and let your love consume my misery and weakness. And may the power of the divine fiat, which you possess as a queen, establish its operating life in me. Whereby I may say, my mother, you are all mine and I am all yours. Today to honour me three times and in the name of all, thank the Lord who incarnated himself and became a prisoner within my womb. And in this way, you will give me the great honour of having been chosen to be his mother. Mother of Jesus, be my mother and guide me along the pathway that leads me to the will of God 